So here's Fort Stevens, the north side of Warrington. Nobody around. It's a thunderstormy type of day. So, and cloudy and foggy, everything. So this is it. There's an old timey building, a few timey, old timey buildings. They all have different colors. I think I'm standing over a bunker. I went by a commissary that just had no roof and it was very similar to this. They obviously built it into the earth for protection. And uh, let's see, this is the hospital built into the earth. <clears throat> so there's gonna be a lot of um, strategy involved with their construction here. Um, I don't know if this is post airplane construction or what, uh, but yeah, this this is a big operation. They paved the roads. This had to have been post World War II. Nothing. It's not like Washington where they got all kinds of signs all over the place. You just have to look and figure it out on your own. I'm just I'm kind of I'm at the top of a higher portion of the area. I'm sure there's a lot of munitions areas. <clears throat> Some kind of closet cubby hole thing made out of concrete here. And this is obviously the newer style of um, using making concrete. Changing over from bricks to concrete was a was a transition they made at some point. Um, you know I think that was early 1900s or late 1800s but whether it was constructed before the airplanes or after for, for the military strategy I'm not sure but Fort Stevens artillery bunker over there trailer court so people do live on the outside of this this base and obviously because I mean Fort Stevens is going to support families and there's going to be families who or uh, neighborhoods and stuff that were built up and um, supported by Fort Stevens uh, economy the government economy so yeah there's there's people who live not too you know pretty close to the, the fenced in area well, there's another thunder. So, Fort Stevens falling apart. Yeah, you can kind of see inside with a broken roof. They want to prevent us from going. There's a fee to get in here, but I think that's for vehicles. Like the Washington Discovery Pass. <laughs> Oregon doesn't exactly have a Discovery Pass system. It's more about just hey, there's a there's a fee, but I don't know where you pay. There must be um, something further in that requires you to pay. So yeah, this is another maybe a munitions building of some kind. It's fenced off. If it's too close to the fence, it's probably not that important. Especially with uh, the community just right there. I'll go further in and take a look. So this is Fort Stevens and it's just decimated. It didn't need the enemy to take it down because time took it down. The only relics are uh, concrete um, and most likely wood was built on the structures like this old fire station which uh, housed three vehicles of some kind that's pretty significant maybe some kind of parade grounds over here or um, the, the huts maybe the soldiers lived in or, or along here it's not much explained maybe in the park area that's better explained um, a couple of cannons for show. This is a sizable military operation. They really had a lot.
lot going on. I don't recall him ever engaging in any battles. So I'm not supposed to enter this way and I'm not supposed to park. Probably have to enter the other way. Yeah, even even spots where they do allow you to to um or where they could put something to read. Commander Station. They, they, this the Columbia River Mines. See right there they had they had information to read up here. And then it was taken down. Pressure gauge from the mine layer. All nicely removed. Hmm, interesting. And you could go in that mine. I don't really have enough light to go in there and take a look. This I'm guessing is just something that sat on the water maybe and was a buoy. So yeah, this they want to charge money to to check this area out, but um I don't think they're collecting enough to to pay for talking about it. <clears throat> Mine Commander's Station. Huh. Oh my god, there's like 12 elk over there just hanging out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all fenced in, pretty much. I've seen the farmed ones in um, at one city, Forks. Home site, chief of engineers, private bunker. I'm a little scared. I oh, don't, they don't have any antlers. I'll let them be. No. All right, so there might be more elk around here. Just enjoying the old military site. Maybe the, <laughs> they represent the old soldiers. Elias Smur, maybe named after an old general. So this, this had to have been built before the planes were invented because the way it's set up is, is just set up for failure. A coal yard. Well, the mines would be on the other side then, and then they had a coal yard. All the coal was taken. I have no idea what that piece of equipment was for. And uh, a building for the coal yard in some way. The wall is about to fall right over. Just give it a good push. Uh, yeah, some old trail. All right, I'm gonna stick with the road. Battery Smur, constructed in 1902, is originally armed with a three-inch pedestrian mount, rapid-fire guns to protect the minefields and river from being removed or disarmed by small craft. There were minefields in the water. Ain't that something? And then this is what it looks like now. So is that that type of gun sitting in this little bunker? They plotted. Uh, destruction of the enemy below and fired from above but uh, I looked over the edge so you really can't see the water very easily nice stairs there you really you can just barely see and maybe maybe they mowed down the brush at the time you gotta can't get to much. the base engine quick so I'll just, we'll figure everything out at the base end station. That's where the end of the road meets. And we'll get the, the latest info on the enemy. Figure, oh, stairs are falling apart a little bit. Looks like we had a gun in here and then later somebody put a pentagram sign. All right, can't see a darn thing. I'm gonna need more 
I'm gonna need a, a better view than this. Hmm. Uh, it looks like the old Minecraft loading building. I'll see how uh, the design is inside, how they've uh, best used it. It's pretty open space. Looks like I can get in anywhere. What? What's this? Search and rescue communication site. Search and rescue. All right, I was wondering what that antenna was for. Okay, back to the mine site, mine loading. Loading up the mine. So they used to have steel around. Or no, no, that's more iron. Steel wouldn't rust so bad. All right, got the, the sign of the devil. Oh, what's this? Hawks? Owls? Oh, maybe I could keep it quiet and not yell at them. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is your home. I don't mean to invade it. I'll leave you alone. There's railroad tracks here, so they load them up over there. And yeah, there's like four or five owls. So there's elk, there's owls. And what do we have over here? More graffiti. Satan is coming. 2014. Is this some other? Wow. Alright. Oh, goes the shaft. Oh. Just the light up there. Alright. A dragon. Really, really added some, some uh, character with the graffiti. I don't know how they would have handled that in the military. You know, I find it interesting how much we've really built up the West Coast in the late 1800s. That's a torpedo loading room. And then this was some kind of searchlight generator. Searchlight generator room that's really fallen apart. It's enough where they fenced it off. The west coast was very protected. That's partly why they built out as far as they could into the water. This is interesting. They used to have a meter for electricity right there, but now you can hear, you can still hear something whirring, some, some kind of airflow in there, maybe to support these antennas, but it looks like, uh, looks like the city just kind of stopped charging money uh, to use the electricity. Buried D GPS RF cable US Coast Guard. Okay. Yeah, the Coast Guard gets free electricity, of course. So what does it look like inside one of these little boxes? You see my bicycle for scale. It's about the length of my bicycle. You just open it on up because they didn't lock it like they normally do on the bottom because it's empty. You've got a heater, electrical box, fan, tiles. Ventilation, lights, I have no idea what they'd use it for. Light switch. Use it for something top secret. This mud sinks really easily, so I want to get through this pretty quickly. The tide is starting to rise, and uh, it'll reach this other side and make things a lot worse. I was surprised. I stood on the, the rocks for like five minutes, and uh, by the time I got to my bicycle, oh, just check out when I step the water squirts the water squirts all around whoa this gets even worse I'm sticking 
I don't have far to go. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Quicksand. This is horrible, and this is this just looks even worse. I'll be happy if I just survive this little trek. Luckily, I got my bicycle as a third foot. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, I was really sinking. On the other side of the rocks, I thought it'd be safer. Guess not. <clears throat> so you can see for scale how big this gun is. It's supposed to be a six inch or a five inch. The biggest I ever had was six inch. But it's pretty good size. It was a self-contained power unit. In case the power went out, it could power itself up. I guess with probably a gas motor or something. Um, shot, it would have, if it ever saw battle, it would have shot over the Pacific. Protected the rail lines. Um, yeah, there's another one on the other side of this hill that looks just like it. I just love how this military battery is right next to a trailer court. It's just a fence separating everybody here. I'm, I'm in the museum, and then it's residential trailer court. Museum, and residential trailer court. At least they took the barbed wire off the top of the fence to make it look a little more friendly. Um, oh man, that's a concrete pole. Yeah, it's just, this area is, it's hard to imagine what all was here because 90%, um, 85, 90% of the buildings are gone. They were all wood, and they didn't last long. It's uh, kind of kind of weird to me because if you go to Port Townsend, they they were able to maintain their barracks and stuff, but here everything just got destroyed. I don't, it, 
and this is a bakery, I guess. It's just they didn't do a, a, as good of a job keeping it up.